One of the organizations advocated sending a mob to the home of an FCC chairman to pressure him to act on net neutrality. I think you're referring to the time that a group uh, laid down in front of Chairman Wheeler's car and wouldn't let him come to uh, work. I obviously did not support that. In fact, when the activists would flood our email boxes with emails, I would get a call from Ruth Milkman, the chief of staff, saying, make it stop. And I made it stop. Trust me, I was getting 11 o'clock phone calls to the chief of staff of the FCC saying, make it stop. So I did not support, so certainly not support deeply, that. deeply intertwined with these organizations. No. I do want to thank everybody out there and thank you, Evan, for all the work, Fight for the Future and Demand Progress and Free Press have done bringing the American people to these issues. And I've never seen anything like it, and it's fantastic, and it's because of you. Another organization you were involved with encouraged people to threaten violence against an FCC chairman, his staff, and his family due to his views on net neutrality. What, what group is that, uh, Senator Blackburn? I'm not sure if it was a Fight for the Future or Free Press. Okay, I'm, I am no way affiliated with those groups. Do I make small contributions at the end of the year because we work together? Sure, that doesn't mean I approve of everything they do. 